Hi everyone, Louise here from Monon Town Library. Today we're bringing you a video on a craft with an Easter theme. So we really hope you enjoy doing it. And again, we want to see your finished craft in the comment section afterwards. And just remember, at any stage you can pause and rewind the video if you get stuck on any of the steps. So happy Easter everyone. So this is going to be our craft for today. Some of you may recognize these. We um, would have ran this with some of the school groups in the library. These are corner bookmarks, okay? So we would worked with five different designs um, at our last workshop. So we had our penguin, our frog, our minion, and our pig, and our fox. But with it being Easter, we are going to make today a little bunny bookmark. Okay, so the way these work, you're reading your book and you want to mark your page. You can take your little corner bookmark and tuck them over the edge, okay? And then when you're re ready to read your book again, it marks what page you're on. So in our next video, I'm going to show you what you need to make your little bunny corner. Now, here is what we need to make our little bunny bookmark. Okay, so you're going to need glue, Pritt stick or a glue stick. You'll also need a black pen or a marker or even a crayon. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be with black, but the darker the better, just to put in some of the small details here on our bunny. Also going to have to use some scissors to cut out the initial parts, so I recommend an adult use these or they're only used under adult supervision. The main part of our bunny rabbit is this square here, so this is a 6 inch by 6 inch square. So the more square this is, the tidier your bookmark will be, so that's quite important. After that we just have some of the details for him. So we have a little set of ears here. These do not have to be a particular length, you can cut them as large as you want. Do remember though, on the back of your bookmark, you will be gluing them on. Okay, so you will need a little bit of extra there that you're not going to see. Also have the inserts here for the ears. So just a little bit smaller, you can see here in our main bookmark. You can use um, googly eyes if you have them, or you can make your own little eyes. So with these here, basically what I did was just, I got the bottom of a jumbo crayon, lined out in a piece of paper, drew around it and cut it out. So you can use anything at all that's circular. Here we have his teeth, so just two little strips. Again, they will be glued so you can make them as long or short as you want by gluing them further in. This is his little muzzle here, so it's kind of like a number eight. And we just have a little triangle here for his nose. The carrot as well here um, isn't cut to any particular size, so I just have a little orange paper little green section there as well and the carrot is completely optional you don't have to include it if you do not want to you do not have to use pink you can use any color you like if you don't have a color colored paper it's fine to take some white paper and maybe you want to paint it a color you want to use or you could make your bunny entirely white it doesn't matter whatever color you choose so in our next video I'm going to show you how to fold this square section here to make the base for your bookmark Now, this is the section on folding a piece of paper to make the initial structure for your bookmark. So the tidier we do this, the better it will look in the end, so it's worth taking a little bit of time over. So, first of all, I'm going to turn the piece of paper, so it makes the shape of a diamond. I'm going to fold this top point towards this corner. Just try to line it up as well as I can. Run my finger along the top and make it into this shape here. Okay, so I folded that in half to make it a triangle. I'm going to keep the folded side towards myself, taking the top layer, this point here, and fold it towards that line. And I want to line up this point with the line as best I can. So, this is the shape I've ended up with here. Okay, so taking this corner, I'm going to fold it up towards the top. 
and again just run my finger along it to make this shape. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, taking this far corner here, folding it up towards the top and running my finger along it there. So this is the shape I've ended up with here. So I'm back to a square. If you can open it out, you can see how that's done. Now, taking these two little wings, I'm gonna fold each one into this little pocket here. I want to get this as neat as possible, I'm trying to keep it in line. And again, just coming over it so it's good and folded. Okay, do the same on the other side. Again, just tucking it in, keeping it as neat as I can and in line with the other side. So all the time each side should match itself. So this is the shape I've ended up with here. So you can see the little pocket there for your book pages and your design will be put on here. Now we are ready to put our little bunny together. So we're going to take our little folded piece and we're going to point it this way. So we're going to have the little pocket with a split down the middle pointing up the way and that is going to be his head. Now there's no particular order for sticking on these bits. You can start wherever you like. Um, usually I start with the ears. So what I've done here is glued the little white insert into the inside to make the inside of his ears. So we're going to glue those on to the back of the bookmark. You can make these as long or short as you like. But with them being a bunny, I tend to make them quite long. So just quite close to the top corner there. And doing the same with our other ear. Plenty of glue. And just trying to line them up as best we can so they look fairly even on both sides. Now, um, usually next I would start with his muzzle. So I'm going to just take our little eight shaped piece there and again plenty of glue so I put this overlapping so it'll be halfway between the top pocket and the bottom okay so you can see there it's just sort of overlapping over the edge there now we can give him his eyes and um, so I use googly eyes with this one here but I just use these little spots as well and um, so these are the ones earlier I made just using the bottom of a jumbo crayon and just drawing in a little dot as well. So depending on what you have at home. And again, pushing that down, one on each side, and just trying to level them up as best I can. So with the glue stick, you have a little bit of time there just to adjust and move them about. Okay, so you can see an eye on either side there. Now, um, so we can do his little nose next. So we're just taking our little triangular piece. Plenty of glue on it there. And it's going to go on the centre of our figure of eight. Again, just trying to line it up as best we can. To keep it nice and neat. Okay, so I'm just going to push that up there. Adjust it. Again, with the glue, you have a little bit of time to play about with it. I can see his nose there just over the centre of the figure of eight. Now, next for his teeth. So we're just taking our little strips of white and plenty of glue. Now, these are going to go to the inside of your pocket. Okay, so I'm going to stick on to the inside just behind your muzzle there. Again, as with the ears, you can make these as long or short as you like. They don't have to be perfectly straight. Um, depending on what kind of look you want for your little bunny. So again, on the other side, and I'm going to the inside of the pocket here, and just gluing that on, just pressing it down, so it's good and neat. So now, that's the main bit of our bunny. So if you've decided to give your bunny a little bit of carrot here, I've already stuck on the leaves up the top here. Just to add a bit more detail, you can take your pen or your marker, and what you can do is just draw on some half circles, okay? So see what I'm doing there? I'm just drawing on some little circles just to give the carrot a little bit more detail. This is completely optional, you don't have to do it. 
but um, if you just want to give it that little bit more detail you can. So just go the whole way along it there and just add a couple of little lines. Now, so adding some glue to our card, plenty of glue, can't have enough glue. And we're going to take it to the inside of our pocket just to make sure it looks like it's in his mouth, just behind his teeth there, and just press it on. Okay, so you want to make sure you can see plenty of it. If you're going to all this work, you may as well be able to see it. Now, so that's the main part of our rabbit done. This part again is optional. If you would like to add some details, you can. So just from side of the thing here, we can give him maybe some whiskers. Okay, so I've done there is just drawn. Three simple little lines out from his little muzzle. I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so just some whiskers. And also what I did in my other rabbit here was just a couple of little dots. As many or as few as you like. Okay, so you can see there, so I've just given a couple of dots. It just gives them a little bit more detail. And that is our finished bookmark. So what I would suggest for your bookmark is to let it dry for a little while, okay? So even for an hour or so, just let your glue, make sure it's all stuck down well, and then you can test it on your book and make sure it's working as a bookmark, okay? If any little parts seem loose or a little bit unstuck, just add more glue. So well done. Um, and of course, we want to see if you make this bookmark or any of the other bookmarks we had earlier, we really want to see your work. So please put some pictures up in the comments and we look forward to seeing them.